today we'll talk about uh, autonomous navigation uh, our objective is to uh, make a robot move around autonomously uh, in a given environment so it has two parts in the first part we learn about uh, the ROS navigation package that comes with turtleboard so we'll see how the turtleboard um, can move around autonomously in an environment uh, in the process we'll learn about slam you'll know, uh, learn about how to build a map of the environment save the map and then how to use it uh, to localize the robot and make it move autonomously uh, uh, on in that environment uh, so it has two parts in the first part we will focus on uh, only turtle board a navigation package uh, while in the second part we'll use this understanding uh, to make our own robot that we built for the gazebo move autonomously so uh, so the first step involves um, using the ROS navigation stack uh, for the turtleboard so the uh, turtleboard repository is available at this link so you can go through it and uh, understand it um, if you are using kinetic so you can easily uh, install the turtleboard packages you know uh, I haven't detailed those steps here you can uh, search on uh, Google and find out the method to install that is what pretty straightforward you just have to do app get install and the package name and it should install everything but if you are on the ROS melodic uh, and you are on Ubuntu 18.04 as I am then you will have to download the packages and uh, build them one by one in your uh, catkin environment so you have to build your packages on your end then only you will be able to use it so an instruction is available here um, uh, I'll show you. Uh, yes, so there is a instruction on how to install the packages and build them. Uh, and so I have provided a link to this um, page here, so you can uh, go here and you know follow the steps. Then you should be able to build all the turtleboard packages. Once you have done it, then a uh, you'll have to source the setup.bash file depending on which one works for you for example in my case I use catkin make isolated um, command to build all the uh, individual packages so I'll have to source this devil underscore isolated slash setup.bash file just to update the ROS tree so I, I should be able to find all the uh, packages that I need all right so uh, our uh, so uh, this autonomous navigation involves uh, three steps first is we build the map using gmapping and then we save the map and then use this map to localize the uh, robot and for autonomous navigation so uh, for building the map using gmapping i'll run these four commands in four terminals um, and let's see how uh, it works so as always I will do this devil isolated setup dot bash just to make sure that ROS tree is updated now I'll do ROS launch turtlebot gazebo and turtlebot world dot launch Okay. So it uh, loads the turtleboard and its own environment. You can see this is uh, uh, turtleboard uh, with Kabuki platform and there are some few obstacles are there around it uh, so we'll just minimize this window so that we can see it along with our which window always uh, on top now our second command is go to the terminal 
second terminal uh, source devil isolated setup dot bash uh, we need to run this command whenever we start a new terminal now ROS launch turtle bot navigation and G mapping demo dot launch so the G mapping demo dot launch, launch is available in turtle bot underscore navigation package So uh, we'll have to run the other command, ROS launch, turtle bot, gazebo. I think the second is uh, turtle bot gazebo, g mapping demo, g mapping demo dot launch. This is okay. Uh, and the third command is ROS launch source isolated setup dot bash ROS launch turtle bot RVs launchers view navigation dot launch So y you see all these uh, point cloud trajectories, everything is already included, P AMCL particle uh, cloud, everything is included here. So we don't have to add anything here. So we'll just close these sides. Put it on top. for the timing and in another one we'll run the teleop uh, command so uh, ROS launch turtle bot teleop keyboard teleop dot launch so So as we move around, for example, we move around So as we move, we, we can use this keyboard command to move around the environment. See, and as it moves around, it builds the map of the environment, which is shown in this white patches and these dark edges are the um, obstacles that it detects. So if you laser scan probably uh, you can increase the size of 
this one so probably it will so I can bring the focus back to this window otherwise it will not move so if I go around this J and press I here this one. so you can go around uh, the uh, whole environment and uh, you can go on building the map so once the uh, I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's going to take a, uh, quite a bit of time once you have built the map now the next step is to save the map so you can go down here and then so uh, let's create uh, MKDIR maps then we say cross run map server map saver on S F maps test dot map dot yml test dot ma underscore map yml is not required so if you do it so you go to the map folder and it creates these two files so these two files will use uh, for autonomous navigation using amcl and just to So this is this is the uh, one of the pre-built maps that I created uh, um, using G mapping. So uh, once you go around all the obstacles, probably it will look something like this. Okay, this this is already there in the file uh, for our uh, tutorial uh, right now. We'll you make use of these two files here that shows here. So it is not in the maps; it is outside the map folder. So we'll make use of that one but once you you know once you complete the process you can have your own map and use them as well so uh, now what we'll do is that we'll close these two windows and close the saving control c control c control c okay Now this is how uh, it looks like. So um, once you complete the whole process, you can see the map is built like this. The next step is that uh, next step is to use this map to navigate autonomously. So in the first window, we load the uh, world environment. It remains the same. There is no change in the first step. In the second window instead of g mapping we use mcl demo and we provide a map file which is catkin it doesn't uh, tab doesn't work here you look type down the whole thing so toast to uh, map under yml yes it's loaded now and the third one we launch the rvh file so ross launch total bot rvs launchers rvs launchers and then view navigation dot launch view navigation dot launch yeah so uh, as you can see uh, already all these elements like global map 
local map, MCL particles, particle cloud, um, you know, full plan. all these particles are loaded so what we will do now close this zoom out a little bit and let's say uh, we give a navigation goal like this we see that the robot is able to uh, follow the path this one again we can give another navigation goal like here yet another one you can give it here So this is how the autonomous navigation works. Once it has built the uh, uh, map, then we can use this map to localize itself uh, using something called a uh, scan matching algorithm um, because it uses laser. So uh, that reading is matched with the obstacles that it sees in the environment and tries to localize itself. Uh, so yeah, that's that's it for uh, for this part. Uh, now we'll use this understanding to. Um, um, make our own robot move autonomously so we will you know make use of many of these uh, files that is there with the total board package to build our own just to give you an idea for example we'll close this right now you know you, you can do raw cd total board gazebo so uh, there you can see the world environments so you there are various uh, world environment is there so this is the playground world that we will use for our robot as well there are other worlds as well is there and then you can see at the launch files so the launch file you have this amcl demo gmabin demo that robot world dot launch so we'll make use of these two demo uh, the mcl and gmapping demo files for our robot as well and uh, if you see uh, raw cd turtle bot teleop so we'll use here as well so here there's teleport uh, keyboard teleop launch file this also will use for our robot as well uh, in addition there are some configuration files which is probably there in raw cd turtle bot navigation i'm not sure if they are no it is not there uh, cd the cd param i think this is the folder there are some parameter files are there some of these parameter files will make use uh, for our robot these are required for tuning the behavior of um, amcl package so uh, that's uh, all for the time being so we'll see how uh, we apply this knowledge for our own robot uh, here are some pictures are there before we end uh, here are some pictures this is how we make use of that one all right thank you